Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and Sarah Palin is suing New York Times for defamation. The lawsuit has to do with an editorial the New York Times ran on June 14th that falsely smeared Palin as inciting the 2011 shooting of Democratic Representative Gabby Giffords by a mentally ill man. There's no evidence of to support the New York Times implication that Palin played a low role in inciting Gifford's shooting. Mrs. Palin act brings this action to hold the Times accountable for defaming her by publishing a statement about her that it knew, the, knew to be false that Mrs. Palin was responsible for inciting a mass shooting and a political event in January 2011, Palin suit states. Specifically, on June 14, 2017, Times editorial board, which represents the voice of the Times, falsely stated that, as a matter of fact, to millions of people that Mrs. Palin incited Jared Loeffner's January 8, 2011 shooting rampage at Blake event in Tucson, Arizona, during which he shot 19 people. Severely wounding United States Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords and killing six, including Chief U.S. Just U.S. District Court Judge John Roll and nine-year-old girl. The lawsuit states paper published and promoted its editorial boards column, despite knowing that linchpin of a sickening pattern of politically incited shootings was false assertion that Mrs. Fallon decided Lochner to murder six people, among them a child and a federal judge, and seriously wounded numerous others. So it goes on by state, as public bash, backlash over the Times malicious column mounted, it responded by making edits and corrections to its fabricated story, along with half hearted Twitter apologies, none of which sufficiently corrected falsehoods on paper and published. In fact, none mentioned Mrs. Phelan or acknowledged that Mrs. Phelan did not incite the arranged man to commit murder. Palin claims an editorial exceeded the bounds of legality, decency, and civility by publishing false and defamatory count. She's seeking a minimum of $75,000 in damages. The lawsuit can be seen below. Now, I can't blame her for suing, but, uh, why such a small amount? Go laugh at that. In the New York Times editorial, which has since been updated, the others claim there is a clear link between the incitement between Jared Loftner's attempted assassination of Giffords and a map Palin had created that plays crosshairs over districts and Republicans needed to flip in the 2012 election. No such link exists. CNN's Jake Tapper pointed out in response to the New York Times editorial that even way back in January 2011, we knew that Loftner's assumption began three years before the Palin map. Tapper made the same exact point back in 2011 when he worked for ABC. After harsh criticism of the media, the New York Times finally added a correction that read early version of this editorial incorrectly stated that a link existed between political incitement and 2011 shooting of Representative Gabby Giffords. In fact, no such link was established. The New York Times editorial board editorial followed the attempt of mass assassination of Republican lawmakers by a left-wing Bernie Sanders supporter, which as far as anti-Republican rhetoric on his Facebook page and along several anti-GOP groups on Facebook, including one entitled Terminate Republican Party. Daily Caller is waiting for a comment from the New York Times. Uh, 
lay set. The New York Times is a definite snake in the grass. So I'm delighted that they're getting sued for defamation. I'm wondering, you know, why such a small amount. This won't go anywhere. It'll be set a lot of court. They'll hand her a chunk of change under the table and make it all uh, seem so seem better. And if you're suing for at least seventy-five thousand, you're suing for less than that, actually. That's not a minimum. That's actually a maximum. Oh well. New York Times is a definite snake in the grass. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Unbelievable. They would do this type of thing. These people are sick. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.